Hello, Ray Peck families. My name is Jason, and I will be demonstrating how a parent with multiple children might approach the required summer school applications in order to access the rest of the Focus Student Information System. So, let's get this done. All right. Now, I'm going to assume that you um, have logged in already, and you're on the focus dashboard so once we're on this portal dashboard you'll see up here that we have the focus testing that's the first difference between your screen and mine so I'm on the testing version of focus just so that I can tinker with things and demonstrate to you without messing anything up next you'll see the options down below and then you'll see your children listed down here okay I can actually uh, go ahead and collapse that so that you see in this instance I have three fictitious children and what I'm going to do is model how you might navigate this process so let's get it done you'll see as we click on things nothing's gonna work you're gonna be frustrated I would be too these are required applications even if your student is not going to summer school you're gonna need to complete this in order to unlock the rest of focus. So let's start at the top. I'm gonna to click this one, it says in progress. Perhaps you'd already clicked on this one. If you've never started it with uh, any of these students, you'll see not yet started, click to begin. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this one. And now we will open up the summer school registration application. Once that opens, you'll see some basic instructions here. If you have any questions, make sure you email here at summer.school at raypec.org. Very quick responses, or at least we try to, uh, and getting you the information you need. And then if there's any technical stuff, like something's broke, it's just not working, uh, you might direct your phone call there to our help desk at 816-892-1333. Okay. Um, additional help you can continue um, and then we have this written in Spanish as well let's go ahead and navigate this document all right so our application uh, begins down here and it says please complete the general enrollment questions below will you be attending summer school well let's say that this student of mine this is my child my first kid no this student is not going submit and finish done great click here to return to the portal okay so now you'll see the completed forms down below for my first child second child this one is going to be going okay so i'm going to click here to begin and what we'll see is the same application will load up and we'll navigate accordingly all right i'm going to click yes and then it's going to ask me what grade grouping this child will be in for the 24-25 school year. So not what they finished last year with, but what they'll start next year with. Okay, here we go. Let's say that this child is going to be in elementary school. I'll click elementary. Next, it's going to prompt me uh, to ask whether or not my child's going to need bus transportation. Now, there's an important note here. If it's a high school student and they are attending that morning summer fitness, they will need to arrange their own transportation, <clears throat> excuse me, to school each morning. Okay, so next I'm going to click here and say, yes, I do need bus transportation. Will you require alternative pickup and drop off locations? So that's outside of your home where the, your child lives. Okay, let's say that they're going to start the morning at grandma's house and in the evening they're going to be dropped off at their uncle's house. We're going to go ahead and express that here and request consideration for that. All right, so we're going to say alternative transportation time, both a.m. and p.m. Okay, so then I'm going to type in grandma's house. And then I'm going to complete the address, the city, and the zip code. And then for the return from school, uncle's house. 
And I'm going to do the same, the address, the city, and the zip code. Great. Next, we're going to ask, or we're going to be asked this question. Elementary, select the sessions you will attend. Okay. Uh, my child is going to be going all four weeks. But let's just say we had a vacation already planned for the second half of summer school. And we're only going to have our child there for the first two weeks. That, that's what we might do there. Or vice versa with the uh, dates there. But in this case, I want to demonstrate all four weeks. Okay. Submit and finish. Uh-oh, I didn't put in the information. And it's prompting me. It says this is required. Oh, okay, great. Now I can go back up here and go one, two, three, four, main. And that is going to be Raymore. And that is six, four, zero, eight, three. Uncle's house is uh, four, three, two, one, main. But that is in peculiar. And we're going to go with six, four, zero, seven, eight. And now I can submit and finish. Great. It's going to tell me to return to the portal and do my final child. Now this child is a high school student, okay? But I'm gonna pretend to mess up, right? This is a child who I'm gonna, in my brain, uh, demonstrate as though they're going into the 10th grade, but I forgot and filled out as a ninth grader because I want you to see something important here, okay? So I'm gonna click on yes, and I'm gonna click on ninth grade. Okay, now in ninth grade, um, no, I don't need transportation. Um, this one, this child, we've got transportation arranged. But yes, this child is going to summer fitness. It's going to prompt me and ask, well, which summer fitness? I'm going to go with cross country. And then it's going to ask me ninth uh, grade, June, in person or virtual. Okay, since those are the different offerings. I have these options. No, I will not attend in June. Well, my child is going in June. Yes, I will attend in person only in June. Or yes, I will attend both virtual and in person in June. And last but not least, yes, I will attend virtual only. Okay, so I'm going to say both just for demonstration purposes. And then it's going to prompt me course selection, ninth grade only, June in person. So this is the in person class and then the virtual class. And next it's asking, well, what about July? Is your child gonna be going in July for the virtual only? Yes, actually, yes. This child is very much committed to getting some credit in place. So I'm gonna click on there, and it's gonna ask, do you want a second one? No, I'm not gonna be having a second class in July. And at this point, I realize, oh no, I did that completely wrong because this child was a ninth grader last year. They're gonna see it says right here 24 25 school year. Oh no. Okay, not the end of the world. But we do need to change the selection to grades 10 12. Now this can be a frustration point, so I want to make you aware of it ahead of time. I could just click 10 12 and it's going to change all my questions, right? Well, the problem is those ninth grade options that I chose are still in place. And if I don't change those back to the NA, then that's going to be sent to the office and it could confuse things, could make some delays in the process. It's not going to break anything, but it, it could confuse the front office a little bit and they might need to reach out and clarify. So I'm going to help them help me by changing all of this back so that I don't send them incorrect information. Okay. Next, I'm going to navigate through. Still no. Summer fitness is still yes. But watch this. Because the course offerings are different, 10th uh, graders and up do get some more options for classes. So next, I have to select my in-person, English 1, my alternate course. Oh, okay. Why do I have to do an alternate? If the enrollment is a challenge for, let's say, English 1, then I might have, you know, a fallback option, Algebra 1. Okay, here we go. Courses for selection, high school only, June virtual. All right, this is the online class. You'll notice, oh my goodness, I have a lot of options. Why do I have so many options for the virtual? 
That's because some of our students will be enrolled with launch courses, and so they have quite a, a large offering of courses. Let's just say I'm going to go here to um, Introduction to Biology. Just picking something. Next, I'm going to click on the July virtual only. I'm going to say no, they're not going. If they did, they would get to select from those same options. Okay, and now I'm good to go. I can click submit and finish and I would be done. Since I'm already in here demonstrating with summer school, I'm going to take the time to go back and I'm going to backtrack here and I'm going to show everyone here the middle school options because those are a little different as well. Okay, so I'm going to change to middle school. No transportation needed still for this one. And yes, I will be attending the four-week summer school program. Now look here, it says please rank the electives classes in order of preference. The first drop-down should be the first choice and so on. So like the second option would be your second most desired course. All right, so let's go look at these. So I could go right on down the list and make my selections accordingly. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finalize that and submit that. Okay, submit and finish, and I am done. I'm going to click to return to the portal, and guess what? All of my children have been registered for summer school, and now those additional features like the portal, the school info, the profile, everything's unlocked now because that mandatory or required application for summer school has been taken care of, and now I can access everything else. Listen, I know that's been a lot. Um, I really hope that you are successful in navigating this. If you find that you experience some challenges, please, please, please reach out. We have lots of people who are very happy to help you to navigate this system and be as successful as possible. Because in the end, we're all here trying to prepare each student for a successful and meaningful life. Take care. Until next time.